Wait. Okay, you got it. And I will also record on my end. Boom. All right. Uh, today, we're going to uh, meet uh, a friend of mine and CEO, Jeremy, Jeremiah Schmidt. And uh, I got something that I ordered through uh, his website and through his business. He's in the jewelry business. And let me show what I got. Nice. That's awesome. So part of the reason I got this, there's more meaning than what I'm going to say, but part of the reason I got is the Rocky movies and I'm like a fighter sticking with my goals. I the tiger and let's check out that tiger again. So uh, tell me, uh, tell us, me and the audience, uh, what this specific jewelry means and then I'd like to also introduce other products of yours later. Uh, absolutely. So yeah, thanks so much, Robert, for having me on your podcast, um, Reaching Dream Fulfillment. I, I love that name, by the way, because I think everyone should be, well, not everyone, but I think it's very meaningful to pursue your dreams, um, no matter how crazy they are or how small or big they are. I think that fulfillment and happiness is very important in someone's life. And it's part of living an authentic life so yeah I, I love that name by the way but um but yeah so you are wearing the midnight tiger which is uh it was uh, it's a pendant that represents the year of the tiger which is the year that i launched uh seasons um but but the midnight tiger is all about um being a magnificent distinct courageous and sort of uh, being able to do your own thing, right? Because tigers, they are uh, a magnificent animal. They're in the jungle. Um, they're a fierce. They're a fierce predator, but they're also calm and pristine and beautiful, right? And they, um, they, they're not like lions. Lions usually move in packs, but tigers are uh, more mysterious. You know, they, um, they're they're playful. They have a lot of fun, but they're also uh, able to hunt alone and, and live alone, right? And um, I think that mimics, see, with Seasons, what what I built the brand on was really a philosophical idea that great things come to those who persist. And I think that in life, persistence and having perseverance is um, is necessary, right? Like there's ups and downs, but life is uh, it's a lot of magic and it's it's a great time. And I think that having a persevering spirit um, is key to happiness and key to uh, living a life well lived, right? Because, you know, if you're able to persist through bad times, then you're able to really enjoy the great times. And I think with perseverance, there's a way to to really enjoy the down times too, because um, for me, um, I think that, uh, I think that life is very enjoyable, right? Like every aspect of it. And maybe I'm going on a tangent here, but, uh, but yeah, I think that, I think just being someone who perseveres, you know, being someone who sets some personal goals for yourself, whether that, whatever that looks like, um, and following your intuition or your heart's desires, uh, is, is a representation of like that midnight tiger is like follow, like every single person has that eye of the tiger. Every single person has that courageous Rocky spirit, and um yeah just follow it right like celebrate your wins have a good time you know life is uh we all, we all have like a limited amount of time on earth and um i just think like i, I love the like the happy go lucky approach to living where it's like yeah well yeah you know like life isn't it's, it's not that bad just like have fun you know persevere do great things you know enjoy your life you know do courageous things do what do what makes you what you're afraid to do um because you'll grow and um, yeah, as you get older, things sort of just get easier. And um, yeah, I guess I guess there's a lot there. I tried, tried to talk a lot about all different directions, but uh, that's really what uh, Midnight Tiger represents is this it's a it's a it's a spirit of persistence. It's a pursuit. It's a spirit of perseverance and that when you persevere, good things will happen. The harder you work, the luckier that you will get. I think it's good. Also, it's like here and it's like a reminder of commitment and mm. to stick through when you do have doubts. I don't care who you are or how 
great things you achieve, there will be times you have doubts. But Absolutely. I believe if the mission is truly what you're about and it and if it, the why is big enough, no matter what happens, you'll drive through. Absolutely. So so I'm curious too, like what does um what does the pendant mean to you? And and I'm always curious about um why people purchase jewelry or why people wear um you know, like what, why people wear certain clothes or jewelry, I think that it's a way to, for them to, there's this, there's some form of it that stands close to their identity or there's something that they resonate with. Um, but I'm curious, like what, what does the, when, when you got the the pendant, like what, what is it, what does it mean to you um, wearing it? For me, it's just um, a sign of my commitment to my goals. Mm. And the strength to go on, but it's basically just showing my commitment and not being afraid. Uh, as somebody asks, what is that about? And, and not being afraid to say what it is about. Absolutely. And then uh, for me, I feel the most alive when I compete. And I compete never against others, only against myself break my own records and see what's possible. Absolutely. And now I'm, you know, deeper in the competition thing with entrepreneurship and trying to come back in the pros for the, for a pool and stuff. So, and I intend on competing for many, many years. And one of my new things I say uh, like on my YouTube channel, it started to become a theme is I will compete until I'm not breathing anymore. Yeah, <laughs> if I'm breathing, I'm competing. And yeah, I made one I made one YouTube video a long time ago called You're Still Alive. Mm -hmm. Like all these excuses and whatever, you're still alive. And as long as you're alive, you can still play the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love that. I think. I think one of the best things I'll end with is I'll, I think one of the best reasons to compete that has nothing to do with money is you will have many, many stories and memories mm -hmm. of the challenges and everything. So, hey, let's go for stories and let's make our life more entertaining, like a more entertaining movie. There you go. I, I like that a lot. I, I like that. A lot. I think, yeah, I think balance for me is very important. Um, like I love competition. I think it's amazing. Um, but I, I like the approach where you can, cause I know you, with you playing pool, like you can compete, but you can also have fun. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you have fun when you compete. And I think that's, uh, I, I just like that mentality, like play hard, have fun, have a balance. Yeah, and don't care what other people think. No matter what you do, there will be critics. Mm -hmm. 100%. Oh, could you could you share your website? Uh, sure. Um, okay, let's see here. Like some of the products and stuff. And later on, I'd like to, uh, not in this video, but in another video, go through your whole journey from the final product to the idea, that would be really awesome. Uh, sure. Like the I, whole story. Absolutely. Um, okay, I think the screen sharing is. Oh, okay. Let me see. Share screen. Yeah. Let me. Uh, uh, wait, that's right. Click on name. Okay. Make host. Got it. And then, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I'll make you host right after here. Oh, okay, cool. And for those people about Zoom, I thought I knew everything there is to know about Zoom. Now I know two people can record at the same time. <laughs> and there's, there's always there's always more to it. Um, yeah, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, let's see I like the sun, like a new day and the day starting. I like that. That's, that's a good cool. theme. Yeah. So so yeah, that that's what seasons is really about. Like it's about like the two words that you'll see here are sea and suns. 
And I think that this relates because the sea and the suns, I feel like are very, they, they work in harmony with each other, but there's also uh, they, different meanings behind it, right? So the sea can be very peaceful, um, but it also can be stormy and cloudy and dangerous. Mm -hmm. And same thing with the sun. The sun's rays can be very healing and peaceful and give the earth life. But it also can be very, if you look at it too directly um, and kind of chase it too directly without a balance, it can be very dangerous and it can be, uh, it can burn you, right? Mm -hmm. So I think with seas and suns, what it represents is this idea that, you know, great things do come to those who persist, but also with that perseverance, have a balanced approach, you know, like ride the waves of the sea. There's storms, but then there's peace, there's ups and downs. And the sun is sort of like a compass to uh, follow that. So like, that's why with um, this pendant, the season sun pendant, that's really what it represents is this idea that um, as an individual, you should follow your purpose. You know, you should follow your purpose you know, follow your sun or, or whatever makes you happy, you know, sun represents, usually the sun's represented with happiness and in some cases, but, you know, follow your fulfillment, um, but also ride the waves, you know, there's ups and there's downs and there's, you know, good days and bad days, but, you know, one, as long as you have a purpose that is meaningful to you, then, you know, it makes it worth it. Uh, so yeah, that's, this is, this is like the first pendant I created. Uh, the next one was the crucifix. Like for me, I'm, I'm a Christian. Um, I believe that, you know, Jesus Christ has very meaningful teachings uh, when it comes to living your life. And, you know, just for example, forgiveness is one is that's very powerful or just operating from a state of love and, and grace. And I think that, um, yeah, I, I think that this is actually key to living a very fulfilling and happy life. I think everyone has different religions or philosophies, but definitely for me, having a Christian philosophy uh has been very healing for me and very um just give, giving me a lot of like grace and happiness uh so there's that and i think yeah so the crucifix is a symbol of um it's a christian symbol so it's a religious symbol but it's a symbol to how would i explain this um to carry your burden right and to believe in like you're you're acknowledging that jesus is the son of god or is god let's say and uh, yeah, just really acknowledging his teachings and that he died for us. And that um, to me, like, that's a very, it sounds, you know, for people who may not be Christian, uh, sometimes it sounds weird, but for me, it's a very positive, uh, I guess, idea towards life that, uh, yeah, if Jesus died for our sins, then we have nothing to be worried about, right? Like we've already won. You know, we, we can like, life is a journey. There's nothing to be worried about or afraid of. And um, yeah, I just feel like having Christian values is, uh, yeah, like I don't think it's better than any other religion, but I think that just having some sort of religious or moral or spiritual value is very important in our everyday lives. Um, and then the next one we got here is, this is the gambler's charm. Uh, so this one is very, so this is the actual, one of my good friends, Jay, um, he, he, he was into Baccarat, like, uh, it's like a Chinese gambling game. Um, and he took me to the casino and, uh, yeah, this is like, this is the jackpot symbol. So it's the lucky dragon seven. And, uh, yeah, this symbol just sort of drew me and it's, it's the idea that as an entrepreneur or as, uh, you know, just someone who wins big, you have to be able to risk, risk it sometimes, and I really believe that, uh, yeah, you, you know, gambler's charm, like you have a, have a little bit of luck, like you have to give things a shot, give things a shot and see where it's, see where it lands. And uh, that's really what it's about is like to win big, you got to risk big. Um, then, we got, then we got Midnight Tiger. I explained that one, I guess, at the beginning. Um, and then, so these, these are some crew necks. There's just, I just like the look of it. Honestly, there's not necessarily a, a meaning behind these. Um, but the, the title is called Natural Champion. And uh, I don't know, I just, I just think it's important to have a championship mentality. I like, you know, viewing, we should all view ourselves as winners because we are like so many things could have, uh, like the chances of us being born are like millions to one or, you know, probably a higher number than that. 
Uh, and then these are just classic Cuban chains, different, different lengths. Um, but really what's cool about seasons is I don't, so, you know, jewelry is an expression of philosophy for me, right? And really what the brand is about is, you know, the meaning create things come to those who persist. When you're buying from this site, when you're wearing seasons jewelry, you are um, reinforcing that belief, not in yourself, right? Uh, so the brand, I can read it to you, but it's it's this idea that great things come to those persist. And the philosophy behind it is this sort of poem that I created. Um, so I, I can read it out to you. So few will understand, but to those who persist, faith over fear. Meditate through action, create a noble destiny and embody your philosophy. Create and evolve, follow your intuition. What is real will prosper. Adversity creates a champion. Pursue excellence. Gratitude is enough. Enjoy the journey. Try, try again. Uh, give and become. Energy and persistence conquer all things. That is a Benjamin Franklin quote, one of my favorite quotes. Another one is choice, not chance, determines your destiny. That is an Aristotle quote, uh, one of my favorite quotes as well. And uh, great things come to, to those who persist. I think I think I created that quote. It was it was a play on a Grant Cardone quote because he had uh, great things come to those who 10x and I just changed it to persist. Oh, but, okay. Uh, yeah, I like that's, that. Yeah, that's that's really about the brand. That's um, that's what it is. So yeah, I guess there's not really much to it, but um, that's pretty much seasons in a nutshell. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of fun. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. Like sometimes when now I just started playing pool, practicing, or playing in a tournament, and sometimes I'm mm -hmm. going down on a shot and the jewelry will like uh hit the table or touch one of the balls it doesn't make the ball move otherwise that would be a foul and it's kind of like uh just a reminder of everything as i'm getting down on the shots it's wild <laughs> sometimes yeah. you don't know what things are going to be like until you do them you know 100 percent. yeah i think and over time it, it's grown on me and then people ask questions and stuff it's little personality too yeah like have people ask you questions about uh the pendant uh well you know sometimes you find out like different things about people like mm. some like some people some people it's like different things you do will draw out different personalities and you can see into people like for example when i I have like colorful ways of say, when people say, how are you? I don't say good, okay, or whatever. I say somewhere in between good and spectacular. Mm. Another answer, how are you? I'll say, I'm on an absolutely exasperating gallop towards amazing. <laughs> so when I do the one somewhere in between good and spectacular, I pause because if somebody's negative, they'll go somewhere in between good and terrible. And whoa and you'll get this like once every 300 times now there's mm -hmm. one person you know instead of what is that what does it represent can i see it it was is that real gold is that real gold and and i'm like you know and it has you know a personal meaning and for me part of the reason i picked it was i the tiger and what you're saying about persisting and it's even more meaning that, you know, I'm friends with the CEO. So there's multiple layers of the meaning to it. And mm -hmm. if it was some gold that's rarely found and it's such a high grade gold that that the last time they saw this high grade gold was in King Tut's tomb. No, it's not all about that. <laughs> yeah, well, also, see, the, the, you know what I'm saying? But. But, you know, what people focus on never said, what does that represent? Never said that looks nice. Is it real gold? And that was the only thing. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, so I mean, what people focus on is what they're going to say. It's so funny. And sometimes you get more 
sometimes there's things that will draw out somebody's true personality. Just like that one word I was saying, somewhere in between good and spectacular. And I pause and somebody says, terrible. I'm like, whoa, this person's really negative. And I yeah. drew it out. Well, well, I think that's the interesting thing about, see, this is what I'm learning just, um, you know, building the brand, right? Because most people who buy jewelry or buy, you know, they want to look good. They want it to add the reason why people ask, oh, is that real gold? Which it's it's plated with um, 18 karat gold, but it's sterling silver itself. So it's called gold vermil. Um, but people people buy jewelry, people buy nice clothes to look good, right? To feel good. Um, but in your case, some people like where I purchase, usually what I purchase stuff is for meanings. Um, and oh, okay. that, every single person is a little bit different, right? Like it's same thing with you, like you purchased the pendant for the meaning behind it, mm -hmm. this the perseverance and competition and the eye of the tiger. Like I didn't even think of that uh, meaning behind the pendant, but. Oh, you know, okay. You sort because of that, that struck me. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so that struck you. Right. And I think, um, yeah, like, I don't think he came across saying that, uh, you know, he, he didn't see the meaning in it. Right. Like, I think that different things resonate with different people. You know, some people might see a pendant like that, and it looks cool. They're wondering, oh, is that real gold? You know, they, they like it. Maybe someone sees the design and they're like, whoa, that, that's a cool design. Maybe another person sees it and is like, what's what's the meaning of that, right? So I think um, what I'm seeing like on my end is that uh, people, have different re people have different reasons for purchasing um, and all reasons are good. You know, all reasons make sense. Uh, and that no reason is necessarily better than the other. But I think most people will purchase because they like the look. Uh, that's that's usually why they're not thinking about like the like the philosophy behind it, um, which is okay too, right? Like a lot of I think yeah. a lot of people um, when you're a little bit too philo philosophical or too meaning oriented, it can it can come across like you're you know you're in the air, you're kind of you're like uh, like a fairy in the clouds. It doesn't make sense. It's maybe a little weird or whatever, but, um, but everyone's different. And I think that's what makes the world a great place, right? Like there's, there's different, there's people who are super logical, super materialistic, super spiritual, you know, just normal people. <laughs> there's weird people. There's, there's all types of people, right? And that's and fine. There's different so, stages where people are in, are different depending on different stages mm -hmm. and experiences. Yeah, like somebody gets married or whatever, your perspective shifts so fast. It's, you're in a completely different place. Yeah, that that's so true. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Um, could you um, could you um, like, say what the website is in case um, people want to check out some of your products. Uh, sure. So it's seasons.com. So it's C E A S U N S uh, dot com. And yeah, I guess that's that's where you can find you can Google seasons uh, if you want. You could Google like me too. I'm, my name is Jeremy Schmidt or Zentfulness. It's all related. Okay. Uh, I do also do YouTube. I'm, I'm planning on getting back in the YouTube game. I want to do more cartoons with AI, uh, which which will be cool. But uh, mm -hmm. I haven't really started that yet um but yeah mainly seasons just search it it's a small brand it's growing uh but uh yeah i think that's that's probably where you can find it i'll put it i'll put it in the description of this channel okay guys so uh, in awesome. the description oh you can check it out there thank awesome. you so much for your time and uh this is a little gift to myself for my birthday and uh, the graduation speech, and it's going to be completely different. And the graduations going forward will be similar if something doesn't happen. So it's real deep. It's real, real. It's real, real. Where I face stuff that, yeah, that a lot of people wouldn't even want to face themselves, let alone make public. But I can do both. And I don't know why I'm blessed that way, but I am, which is cool because it can be good value for other people. And I'll be practicing the speech. Thank you so, thank you so much. I, I'm i planning on getting a different one every year because now, uh, yeah, 
I found out that I'm more into this than I thought I'd be, to be honest, because I've never had a necklace before ever. So, you know, but so, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that grows on you after a while. It's funny. Yeah. Well, well I feel like, yeah. And number one, I, I just want to thank you. Uh, like, yeah, thank you for buying. Thank you for like having me on your podcast and just asking me questions about the brand. Like it's made me think about a lot of things. Uh, oh, cool. And yeah, just very, very grateful, like very grateful that you're part of this community. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I think I, I just, I think it's cool. It looks good on you. Like it's, um, it, it, it's just like, for me, this is, these are like one of those moments where I feel like you get like an indicator that you're on the right track. And uh, yeah, I feel like that's just a, I just really enjoyed this conversation. Like any, anything you need, like any type of um, like questions or interviews or whatever, like, let me know. I'm always, I'm always here for you, Robert. Yeah. And, uh, and take and, some, yeah. take some time to think, maybe script it out kind of in your head. So I'd like to do mm -hmm. like um, for big goals, whatever it is, a business, whatever it may be, to uh, next time, I'd like to do an interview where we go through from the concept all the way to reality. And that, okay. hey, there it is. I'll name the video that from concept to reality, the story of Jeremy Schmidt. There we go. There it is. There's the title. There's the title. Yeah. So like and anything you need, like, let me know, like, just let me know that time and a place, like even if you want to do it next week. So, um, yeah, I'm hundred percent in, I'm hundred, I'll, I'll share like everything about the journey. Yeah. If you want to do it next week, I, I'm still off. So I still have extra time. That's why. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Next week. Um, Write this down everyone. Oh. So then you can see the next video and know when it's coming out. No. <laughs> Yeah, so so I could do it next week at twelve or at uh, eleven a.m. PT. Oh, um, yeah, eleven a. What day? Sunday? I don't know. Uh so I think that's the thirtieth. It's the. Oh, that that is Sunday. I have I have a practice match on the thirty first. Okay. The thirty first is a Monday. Yeah, I have a practice match. Uh, what about the thirtieth? Yeah, thirtieth works. 11 a.m. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, or actually, could we do? Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, could we do 12? Yeah, high noon. <laughs> oh, okay. So 12 PT. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to end the recording on my end.